a taste, a taste from the melting pot. I'm Mara McFalls, and on today's show, we are going to explore the amazing cuisine of Africa's most populous country, Nigeria. But before we meet our culinary ambassador, let's take a closer look at what life is like in Nigeria. The West African nation of Nigeria is a land full of surprises, with more than 140 million people, 250 ethnic groups, and over 500 different languages, it's the eighth largest country in the world. Muslims, Christians, and followers of local African religions all add to a rich multicultural society. In terms of natural beauty, Nigeria is equally impressive. Lush rainforests stand in contrast with sweeping deserts and miles of wavy grassland. It's a bounty reflected in the country's varied and flavorful cuisine, where both meat and vegetable dishes are often prepared with hot chili peppers and tasty palm oil. Urban life in Nigeria is colorful and fast-paced. Lagos, the largest city, teams with office towers, entertainment venues, and speeding taxis. The capital, Abuja, is more laid back but nonetheless shows off the national passion for great style. Throughout the city, street tailors can fix suits, alter gowns, or mend handbags right as you walk to work. No matter where you go in Nigeria, music and dance play important roles. Traditional folk dances help to preserve the heritage of each region or tribe. And vibrant popular forms like highlife and afrobeat continue to draw in fans at home and abroad. Over 165,000 Nigerians now call America home. And one of them is Florence Troutman, our guest for today's show. We're at her home in Newark, New Jersey, and I'm so excited for her to share all about Nigerian culture and cuisine. Hi, Florence. Hello, Mama. How are you? This is for you. This is for you. Yeah. It's so sweet of you. Thank it's so you. nice to meet you. I'm so Come excited in, for today. Let's go. <laughs> oh, what a nice house you have. Oh, thank you. Aww. Oh, this is so sweet. Florence settled into Newark, a town with a large Nigerian population who, like Florence, were drawn here by the local African church. So sweet. That's really nice. Thank you, Mara. Good thank job. You. Thank you, thank that doesn't sound exactly like traditional Nigerian music, it seems. <laughs> well, well, well. As you all know, in Africa, especially Nigeria, we are, most of us are Christians, you know, and uh, we all go to church and uh, we take uh, religion very seriously. Before heading into the kitchen, I wanted to get a flavor of her Nigerian culture. Now, I see these instruments here. They are obviously Nigerian. I didn't have to play yes. That in Nigeria. This <laughs> this is so interesting with the strings and the I, yeah. Show me how you play this. <laughs> well, normally you should have What's a it called? You should, we should have a like a, a, a talking drumstick. Okay. But we don't have it. So a I'm talking gonna, drumstick? Yeah, it's a talking drum. Oh. This is a talking drum from Nigeria. A talking drum. Yeah, it's a talking drum. Why so, is it called a talking drum? Because it talks. It can talk to you. I'm not really talking because I'm not a talking drummer. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll try something. Let's try. It. And this is the marak uh, maracas. It's called shekere in the Yoruba language. You know? Woo! <laughs> so let's try and see if we can do something with um, either one. All let's right, see. I'm going to summon my inner beat. I might not have mastered the maraca. I guess I was mesmerized by Florence's voice. Did I mention she's a professional singer? Oh, this is you? This is me, yeah. This is, is me. your music traditional, traditional Nigerian it's music? It's a mixture of contemporary and, uh, you know, uh, a bit of uh, traditional, all mixed together, you know. Yoruba? Yoruba, yes. Yeah. 
While touring the world with her music, Florence met an American man whom she married and together moved to the States. How long have you been in America? How long have I been? Almost, I would say about 18, oh no, 15, 16 years. Wow, so that's a long time. It's been a while, yes. Yeah. Is there something in particular that you like um, a lot about American, your life here? Any kind of traditions that you've, you've witnessed oh. or maybe something from your husband's traditions? I, I like America because uh, America is a land of opportunity. America, if you if you come here and you want to take uh, all the bad stuff, you know, like go wild and not, you can do that. Oh, but oh, but I tell you, America is a place that has made me to improve as an individual. He has helped me a lot, and I say from the bottom of my heart, God bless America. She loves America, but of course, she'll never forget the memories from home. So these are some photos that you have to show us about when oh, you were still in Nigeria. Yes, yes, yes. This is the photo of my father. Here is my brother and myself. And why is your dad in, he's in a uniform? Yeah, he's in the army. He used to be in the army. He, he was a captain in the army. Oh, and he looks he, very he serious. Died a, he died a couple of years ago. Oh. And here is me and my junior brother. Oh, that's and, so uh, sweet. And yes, oh. we're still a little back in Africa, in Florence Nigeria. Hand. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Florence, is there anything that you could think of that you brought from Nigeria with you to America in a cultural sense? Yeah, actually, I have a ministry and we're trying to help. Uh, we have an outreach program that we're helping women and children, homeless, those that are, in, that are in need of help at this moment. So you brought part of your religious heritage from Nigeria, from Nigeria to help. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. move on to what I think is my favorite part, which yes. is getting my hands dirty in the kitchen. Okay, let's go. Will you show me? Of course. Florence, I think that a lot of Americans in general aren't as familiar with Nigerian food That's as it. they are with a lot of other cuisines like mm -hmm. Chinese or some other um, foreign country. Mm -hmm. So I think that what I'm most interested in is learning the basic ingredients for Nigerian food. Well, here we have tomatoes. You're okay. familiar with this. Yes, we have tomatoes. Yep. We also have the onion, and this is bell peppers. Okay. Bell peppers is familiar also. Okay. Here is, the pepper is, this is very, very spicy. It's careful <laughs> when you, you know you cook this. <laughs> and this is also dry pepper. It's okay. called uh, atak big be. It's almost like a long, you know, type of pepper. Oh, is it also very hot? Oh, it's very hot. Very hot. Very okay. hot. Very, 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 very. And then what are what are these here? And this is the Maggie. Maggie is for, for Maggie. Yeah, it's for flavor. We have something similar to this called a bouillon cube in exactly. America. Where it's like a concentrated flavor. Exactly it's the same thing. So Nigerian food in general is very spicy. That's exactly. what you're saying. Oh, very it's, hot. It's very hot. It's spicy, and it, you can also, you know, put as much spice as you would, you know, like. Okay. You, if you want to put, uh, if you if you like spice, you put more. If you want less spice, you put it medium. This is all so exciting. I can't wait to see how we're gonna put all this stuff together and it's make good. a really good recipe for tonight. Yeah, trust me, it's, it's so easy to make. It's not complicated. It's something that anyone at home watching would love to uh, uh, prepare for oh, themselves. Oh, good. Thank you so much. Okay. Next, on A Taste from the Melting Pot, the secrets to making the perfect Nigerian soup when we return.